The MTA wants to modernize the New York City subway system. In this episode of Decoding the Streets, we take a look at their grand plan. So on their website, the MTA has published a manifesto called the Fast Forward Plan. Now, I did find this document verbose, so I'm going to try to cover the main point in this episode and get you briefly through it. Let's get started. Have you ever been on a train and heard the following? The train is currently being held because of signal issues. Well, that's the first thing the MT wants to solve. They want to repair the entire signal system. The current signal system the MT uses is 140 years old. They want to modernize it by introducing something called CBTC, or Communication-Based Train Control System. Not sure what that means? Let me explain. To appreciate the CBTC system, you must understand how the current signal system works. The current signal system uses something called a track circuit to form what's called a block. When a train comes into the block, it is considered occupied and automatically prevents trains behind it from approaching a vicinity called a buffer. This limits the number of trains that could run at the same time, thus reduces train capacity in the subway. The CBTC eliminate the need to have fixed blocks to detect the location of a train. Instead, trains constantly communicate their speed and position to each other, forming what's called a moving block. This allows trains to run much closer next to each other, hence increasing the capacity for ridership in a subway system. There is already one train implementing the CBTC communication system, and that is the number one Brooklyn Mighty L train. Priority number two is the redesign of all the bus routes in all the five boroughs, starting with Staten Island and then the Bronx. Have you ever been in a bus and noticed that the bus stop at one stop, only to start and stop at the very next block? You're probably wondering what's with all this redundancy. Well, the MTA wants to remove all these redundant stops, consolidate them so you could get to where you need to go much faster. There are also plans for electric buses. The MTA wants to introduce 60 new electric buses by the end of 2019 and 3,000 more in the next five years. They also want to introduce a tap and go system that will allow you to pay your fare by using your cell phone, simply tapping your cell phone, or an Omni card that's coming out in 2021. Buses will also use this tap and go system and this will allow both doors to be used as an entrance. If you're like me and you've ever waited in a line to get inside the bus in a freezing winter, you know how liberating this tap and go system will be for the bus system in New York. America is an aging country. There is a serious demographic shift taking place. That is why the third priority in the MTA's big plan is accessibility. Now, those of you in my audience who are young might not care about accessibility, but at some point in your life, you will, because series like these will become very painful. The MTA's accessibility plan is pretty straightforward. They want to create 50 new accessibility stations in the next five years, elevate access or ride, and add a new executive level position called the accessibility advisor. Now, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the bureaucracy, but we'll see how that turns out. That's it for this episode of Decoding the Streets. Be sure to press like and subscribe if you want more street information. And before I go, I'd like to mention that the app I've been building, Cityscape, is finally available in the App Store. There's a link in the description, and what Cityscape is, it's an app to find secret spots in your city so that you could learn your city and spontaneously meet people. Uh, that's it for this episode. I'll see you next time. Bye.